Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Prismata. We are jumping into the queue, and let's watch what's going on. I just watched, there's an event going on, and I watched, I saw the top live game was Elliot versus someone who was tier 1, 0% <laughs> progress, which I felt was a rather unfair matchup. But uh, I guess it was a smurf of some kind, because Elliot lost the game. Uh, I don't think someone who's never played a ranked game ever would typically beat Elliot in their first game. Yeah, there's some, like... I heard there was some bug with this event. It's like, so the event is like whenever you spend blue, red, or green, you construct for your opponent a Pixie, Nitrocybe, or Gauss Charge, which is fine. That that event has been run before. What's weird is that it's the same base plus five set every game. I don't know why. It's just madness. This is not a great base plus five set for this event. It's, I, I, I why would you want the same one every time, even if it were a good one? I don't know. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, built a splitter, opponent got a pixie. Um, and now we're going into like manticores, I suppose. I don't know, that rhino seems like it might have been good. Because now the Manticore, if you want it, is free. Although, well, no, you're giving opponent two pixies. Yeah, a Rhino would have been nice because now if opponent spends both of their blue, you get in, right? Hmm. Anyway, I don't know. Event games are not really for me. Let's see if there's something else on. Yes, Idiotic Ultimara versus Floron. This game's been going on for a little while. Nobody has built a Tia yet. Uh, I noticed that Idiotic Ultimara has precisely seven drones, but can't quite get to three green. Uh, 11 income versus 10. Um, Floron, of course, has access to walls. Idiotic Ultimara sort of appears to have a better Sentinel slash Rhino train, though. The Thermite Core Pixies are not relevant. Oh, I see. It looked like they had similar attack numbers, but they didn't. Floron just had two extra Pixies threatening, and now four extra. Hmm. Anyway, we have Kaya Dark. Base plus five, 60 seconds. Uh... Well, I mean, Rager and Arca are sort of a thing, aren't they? Like, Arca's a thing all by itself, and there's Hound to spend the blue, so, like, you kind of have to do that. <sighs> Given so much, Reservoir uh, doesn't seem that great. There's not much soak here, and there's a lot of motivation to get your attack out early so you can get the Arca, right? So, I think we go for, like, turn three Animus... Do we? I want Tarsiers, but I want to get a Forge soon after that. Turn three Animus, two Tarsiers, then Tarsier Rhino Forge. Is that legal? Yes. Uh, I can even get a drone on the way. And then I can, like, get hounds and ragers for a little while or something like that. Um, I don't know, is player two gonna fast to miss me? It seems like you might. Or you might try a more houndish opening of, like, turn three DBA into hounds. I'm certainly not going third engineer. And I'm certainly not getting tech this turn. It's just a question of like, what do I do next turn? It might be BA might be better actually for like the hellhound oriented stuff instead of raider oriented stuff. Especially if opponent gets tech next turn, I don't want to like go super slow. So 
So if the opponent goes fast to miss, I think I counter with BA. Well, counter is a strong word. I respond with BA and hope that it counters. Okay. Slower. Conduit? No. Float for DBA, right? I still don't think Reservoir and ISO are that great. It's like, I think you can get the Arca before... You can get the Arca sooner if you build attack with like other stuff instead of with Rezo, I'm pretty sure. Rezo just takes so long. Okay, opponent wants DBA. Seems reasonable. Um, I feel like if I go BA, I just won't ever have enough tech for Arca, and it'll be sort of hard to get like my Ragers and stuff. So I think we did, we also go with a relatively <coughs> excuse me slow approach here. Um, the Rhino I was planning to build will work out well against the single Hound that they build. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Right, TTD into TRB is what I said, and that seems like it works fine. Wait, can I afford that? Mm, yes, just barely, because I float one. TRB. <sighs> into like, I don't know if I can actually afford to buy a hound. I might need a wall. But they'll probably be threatening to rager it, so the wall won't be that compelling. On the other hand, then I, like, won't really be that, that happy to hound either. If they're threatening a rager, it means they'll have three attack, which means these entities will not be so great. I guess I might not be getting a Rager, depending on uh, like whether my opponent builds a Defender. With this Engineer from Hound, they might not have to. Hmm. Conduit's interesting. It must just be for Force Fields, because I don't think you want a Reservoir at this point, and you definitely don't want Isos. But I don't think you want to be Force Fielding, either. Maybe you do. Maybe it helps you somehow, like, defend enough to get the Arca out. Like, I don't know. You don't want to lose a lot of these drones, though. I would be thrilled to see a Reservoir. I'm pretty sure. Drone. Okay, fine. Ragering this is okay, but not really outstanding. Denying one absorb with a rager is just not that great. Um, it would also get me up to six attack, which is not really that, like, it's not seven, importantly. So, I think that I won't rager. I'll just get, like, Hound Rhino or something like that. Mm, that doesn't defend. Hound Rhino hold drone feels pretty bad. Wall lets them get a pretty good rager if they hold the Rhino right, which I don't want to do. Hound Rhino hold drone energy feels pretty dang bad. Ugh, how am I ever going to get Arca? I'm so bad at these units.
But I mean, this threatens six, and the opponent has <clears throat> not much. I don't know, this seems useful. If I, if I build a wall, they actually could hold three rhinos and try to razor me. I'm not sure how great that would be, though. They would probably have to end up sacrificing those rhinos on defense if they did that, so I, I don't think it's something to worry too much about. So this turns off probably one attack, right? And they're still killing this rhino. Like, I can click this, I guess, and then I lose this rhino instead of this one. I don't know. It doesn't seem materially better or worse. Still threatening six next turn. Ugh, I wish I could find time to get a second forge and then another attack. But it just doesn't seem like I can do it. Well, I'll try to be satisfied with the fact that I got one more permanent attacker, but I'm down two drones. It seems pretty close. I don't feel good about my position, but I might not lose. This granularity exploit is gonna be pretty useful because I have flexible attack in this one rhino. Right, like I can hold it, at least. That's something. If they're not granular enough. Or I can click it and make them lose wall wall and... That's not actually an exploit. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, well, hmm. Rager exploits here, but I don't think it's very good. I don't know, if you could get it, it would be amazing, wouldn't it? I don't think you need to hold that drone. I don't have any actual exploits against you. Uh, okay, I could absorb onto Rhino and click everything. Make you lose wall wall. That would be kind of a bummer, wouldn't it? That's a good point. I should look at that, whether that's something I can... Er, you just lose wall Rhino, right? Yeah. Right, six is the exploit, if I want to try that. I hope they just hold the drone so I don't have to try it, because it sounds hard. I think I can afford this. And if I don't die immediately, I win the game, right? Actually... What if instead of Hound, I got a Forge? Three, four, six, seven, right? How does opponent get a Counter Arca? They have five attack right now. If they hold all of it and build like Hound Rhino, they can have seven. That's actually probably not so great for me. Okay, let's not. This this seems like a pretty good spot to be in. I don't need to push it further with an Arca.
Gonna go for that six damage, Arca. Or just double hound, I guess. Which would be fine for you, I'm sure. There's the seven damage, Arca. Oh, also I have seven even without the Rhino. I was counting the Rhino, I don't know. I... Oh no, if I had built the Forge, I would have needed to click the Rhino because I wouldn't have the Hound. Right. Uh, I kind of need to do something like this. Wait. Yeah, now I have seven even without a Rhino, so I should do, okay. I think I needed to build the Rhino to get to 7 and, like, Gambit by... but I don't. Um, I don't think I should assume they will necessarily build Arca, because two Hounds is still probably fine for them. But I think I'm happy to get first Arca and then, like, build Razors next turn or something to deny their Arca value. Did I somehow miscount? What happened? Why do they only have six? I thought they got up to seven. Anyway, as I said, I'll happily first Arca here. You'll click one Rhino and hit me for seven, but then I'll have, like, hold my own Arca and build two Ragers as a play. I just need to make sure I float two into the turn. Or I could build Hounds. I mean, they're pretty good. But given that opponent will have an Arca, the Ragers will be nuts. Which means I don't want a Tarsier. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll just get a drone. Opponent's gonna counter Arca. I'll get two Ragers is 12. Leave me three for another drone. Or I could float here, build two Ragers. Sorry, two Ragers is 14. Leave me one. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'll do. I would love a conduit. I don't know, I have enough tech with like all this stuff. Anyway, it's kind of a bummer to float the blue, but Ragers are just really, really good right now. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, maybe Hounds would be all right. <clears throat> No, you just have to buy the Ragers. Ragers that cost half an attack each are just bonkers. Oh, I should have... Ah, oh, fuck. Pardon my French. Uh, yeah, I can't hold my Arca. They can just Rager me. I should have clicked my Arca and built like a wall and a hound or something. I shouldn't have allowed them this play. They should take it. But, okay, fine. Now I guess I'm getting Hounds, and I'm still holding Arca because it's actually good now. Ooh, I have to get a wall as well, huh? 
Tarsier is just so greedy. Can I really? I don't think I can. I think it has to be NG's, right? Well, opponent's probably only swinging for 11, right? Which is like wall rhino. I should be fine with a Tarsier. I don't think I'm winning anymore. Really? That's interesting. I didn't consider that as a play for myself. A way to get out more hounds. Is it worth it? I mean, I, I probably can't kill them, it's true. Like, swinging with Arca has got to be impossible for me, but is this... Good? I don't know. good with my tech anymore. This Tarsier sucked. I'm gonna lose now. Well, I don't know. Opponent's having a tough time of it too, I suppose. But I think that their drone lead and tempo lead are kind of a big deal. Ugh, I'm so mad about holding Arca. Well, this is a problem. has more attack and more drones and more tempo. All right, well, I guess that's that. So, I don't know, there were some turns that seemed not great, but this is the one <clears throat> that I'm really most unhappy with. It should have been something like this. Deny them Rager value. But then, like, I'm not getting Rager value either, right? I don't know. I mean, what does this end up looking like? Of course, they, like, want to hold their Arca at this point. Ragering me is not good. They don't have to defend, so you can just get two hounds. Say drone ng. I don't know. And now, like they're at like nine attack, which means holding Arca is probably gonna be fine. I can get more hounds. Like I don't. I don't think they're gonna double rage at me, right? <clears throat> in in principle, they could, but it's not that great. Um. It's average, it's fine. It's like ragering against a wall, but doing it twice. It's Is that right? No. It's spending two ragers to deny one wall's worth of absorb, which is not amazing, but not terrible. Uh, however, it really compromises the rest of their turn, and therefore I don't think you should do it. Instead, you just like 
get a hound, a rhino, and a splitter or something. The rhino gambits against the archaclick and this gets you more attack. Ah, a dollar short. Um, what if I did this? Ugh. It hurts. But I'm not gonna lose the drone. I guess it's fine. Like like the play my opponent made that actually seemed to turn out reasonably well. Ah, opponent just has like a little bit more econ, which means they can do cool stuff like this. Well, finally I can do one. And uh, it looks like this is even worse for me. I'm losing faster? That's a surprise. What? Huh. I don't understand why that happened. Holding Arca just seems like such an error here. But I mean, I guess getting double Rager is a very, like, it's it's a lot of value. And in order to get it, I have to hold Arca. Holding Arca costs a lot of value, so maybe it makes sense that they're about the same in value. Even though one of them led me to losing first, it, it, it wasn't the case that either one, like, rescued me, right? Okay, well, anything else to look at in this game? The opening seemed like okay. Uh, we could look at what would happen if I tried to get a Rager on this turn, but I don't think anything good's going to happen. Alright, opponent gets a pretty easy Rager wall. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm already gambiting this Rhino, which stinks. I'm up to 7 attack, but no Arca in sight, and probably only 6 in in, in real life. Um, meanwhile, opponent also has 5. The drones are a lot closer, though, but opponent like has a whole turn worth to do something with, right? Maybe something like this, maybe. And yikes, huh? I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's gonna go that well for me. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It feels like this Rager, I don't know, maybe it seemed good, because it, it does deny one Absorb, right? But... I guess it's letting this Rhino live. I need to pay more attention to that, is like what I'm letting my opponent keep when I Rager, and not just like what, a, what amount of Absorb they're not getting. I've made that mistake a few times, right? Remember that that game that was like, um, just like a Rager, low econ Rager mirror? <laughs> uh, we both went mono red, and I like. Ah, no, it was Ragers and Phages, I remember, yes. Um, my opponent was too greedy, built one too many Phages, and I said, I'm gonna kill him with Rhinos now, forget this Rager garbage. But then the turn after that, I was like, oh look, a Rager, whew! And then I lost, because that Rager let them keep alive two Rhinos instead of soaking with them. Two full health Rhinos. So I might have... I might. This might be a similar sort of mistake. Yeah, I think a Rager that kills a full stamina Rhino... That would have killed a full stamina Rhino is just not very good. Um, it's a little awkward, because, like, I could click this Rhino, and then it's like, uh, you know... It's a little bit of work for me to kill this Rhino instead of a wall, but I think it's worth it. Um, and then I can just, like, I don't know, 
stars here. Rhino? What if I tried to sneak in a drone with my Tarsier? Now opponent does this, and it's like... I seem to be in such a commanding position, right? I'm up... a substantial amount of permanent attack, kind of. I mean, they still have a turn. I should play their turn out before I say who looks ahead. And they don't have to build any defense this turn, so they can do some stuff for sure. Maybe like this? I don't know. I have five permanent attack right now and one more coming. They have four and one more coming. But it's like, I still get to build stuff this turn. This is seven, so it might be nice to have a forge. But I think opponent will be able to counter Arca, so like, there's not much rush, right? Conduit? Oof. Maybe just, just drone is fine. Opponent's advantage is that they're up on drones. If I can catch up on that while, stay, while maintaining my advantage of being up on attackers, I should be reasonably happy, I think. I think opponent will get a second forge here. And given that, should get a rhino, so they threaten Arca. Even though it might not, it won't be a good first Arca. Um, but if I'm not in a position to counter it, like what this does is it says, if you're not in a position to counter my Arca, you should be sad. Um, anyway, we could look into this line some more, but uh, I actually gotta go and we analyzed it a bit. So that's all you guys get. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.